Hey guys, I'm here to read you a story today. I'm reading you The Big Mouth Frog. So this is one of the stories that are in my book. So I don't show you the pages the whole time. I read from it. But this time, I also have puppets to go with the story. So here we go. There once was a little frog who lived in a swamp. He had a very, very big mouth. And he talked very loudly, and he was always bragging. He'd say, I'm a big mouth frog. I eat flies. Flies are the best snack in the whole wide world. One day, after he ate a snack of flies, the big mouth frog hopped down the path. Hop, 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 hop. And he saw bear. Hi, said the big mouth frog. Who are you? What do you eat for snack? The bear said, I'm a bear. I eat yummy berries for my snack. Ew, yuck, said the frog. I'm a big mouth frog. I eat flies. Flies are the best snack in the whole wide world. And then he hopped away. The big mouth frog met an armadillo. Hi, who are you? What do you eat for snack? I'm an armadillo, said armadillo. I eat wiggling worms for my snack. Ew, yuck, said big mouth frog. I'm a big mouth frog and I eat flies and flies are the best snack in the whole wide world. And then he hopped away. So fly is being not very nice to all these friends he's running into. The big mouth frog hopped down the path where he met a turtle. Hi, said the big mouth frog. Who are you? What do you eat for snack? I'm a turtle, said turtle. I eat tasty fish for my snack. Ew, yuck, said the big mouth frog. I'm a big mouth frog and I eat flies and flies are the best snack in the whole wide world. And then he hopped away. There he goes again, not being very kind. The big mouth frog hopped down the path where he met an alligator. Hi, who are you? What do you eat for snack? I'm an alligator, said the alligator very slowly. I eat big mouth frogs for my snack. And the alligator opened his big mouth very wide and frog could see all of the alligator's sharp teeth. Yikes, said the big mouth frog and he leaped away just as the alligator's jaws snapped shut. The big mouth frog hopped home as fast as he could. And he never opened his mouth that much again. Maybe I should think before I open my mouth, he said. The end. So Big Mouth Frog was talking a lot and not being nice to his friends. And then he learned that maybe he should listen before he talks. Thanks for sharing with the story today.